Your Excellency Funara Barla, Prime Minister of the Public, uh, People's Republic of Bangladesh and the Distinguished Prime Ministers, Excellency the United Na Nations General Secretary, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, it is my privilege to be part of this high-level session on behalf of uh, His Excellency Prime Minister uh, Thai Christian of the Republic of Madagascar. The Prime Minister request, requested me to express on his behalf and join previous speakers our thanks to the government of Bangladesh for organizing this event. We also extend our thanks to the Secretary of the Climate Vulnerable Forum and to our stakeholders engaged in this initiative, especially the organizer. Distinguished participants, Madagascar is a country with high potential for carbon sinks due to its rich flora. We have two corridors in the eastern part of the country and mangrove forests in the coastal areas. Unfortunately, the resources are now highly vulnerable to negative impacts of global warming. In addition, if it, given its geographical position in the Indian Ocean Basin, our country is exposed to extreme weather phenomena effect such as high frequency and intensity of tropical cyclones, disruptions of the rainy season and rainfall deficit, the increase of the temperature, the rising of the sea level, flooding and coastal erosion. These phenomena make any key sectors vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Agriculture, water resources, infrastructures, which are the foundation of our, of our economy. To cope with these issues, Madagascar has put in place framework and strategic rationales, including the general state policy, the Madagascar emergency plan, and the national policy to combat climate change. Looking ahead in compliance with the terms of the Paris Agreement, the objectives are to reduce the vulnerability of the population, to promote a resilient economy adapted to the effects of the climate change. In compliance with the terms of the Paris Agreement, we are also making substantial progress into the validation of the National Adaptation Action Plan to fight against climate change by the Council of Ministers. The nationally led consultation has unearthed the following key priority actions to fight against climate change. Value chain adapted implementing the of separation, deforestation and forest degradation, afforestation, reforestation, and landscape restoration within the right path mechanism. Enhancing early warning system on natural disasters like cyclones, drought, and floods within an Indian Ocean led regional cooperation to better support preparedness and planning of adaptation actions within all sectors and country. For its implementation, Madagascar does rely on the financial mechanisms of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. These funds are intended to uh, support national initiatives in terms of fighting against climate change. However, against uh, however, access to this fund is complex due to the multiple investment criteria, and that may raise issues according to the time frame to have actions effectively implemented to address our country needs, which become more and more urgent. In this perspective, we make a call to further facilitate and lighten the procedure, as well as to accelerate the access of vulnerable countries to climate funds, and especially the Green Climate Fund. Very important to highlight and put in pressure in acting more urgently is the effect on the COVID-19 pandemic in a country like Madagascar. One already observer uh, effect is the increase in pressures on natural resources through the speeding up of forest and biodiversity loss towards supporting community survival. This has in a long run an effect in fueling more the vicious cycle of poverty and as this is about to jeopardize in the Madagascar natural cap capital. Ladies and gentlemen, for the implementation process of the Paris Agreement, we hope that the commitment of developed countries uh, to pay um, uh, should be available from the year uh, 2021. In this sense, uh, the Conference of Parties uh, 
26 will be the first conference of the parties to implement this agreement, and we support the position of the country group of Madagascar for the call for greater transparency of financial commitments from donor countries. Excellencies, finally, allow me to thank all stakeholders present in that forum, and I wish a very pro productive forum for us. Thank you very much for your attention.